From the Einstein Healthcare Network Studios in Philadelphia, this is Health and Wellness. Hello, everyone. I'm Janae Channel with my co-host, Dr. Malin D. Pasquale, neuropsychologist with the Drucker Brain Injury Center at Moss Rehab. And this is The Rehab Show. Our topic is improving your memory after brain injury. So let's get right to it. Sure. What exactly happens to a patient after they suffer a brain injury as far as their memory is concerned? It's a great question. It's probably one of the number one complaints that a lot of people bring to us uh, when we start rehabilitation with them. There are many aspects of cognitive functioning that are involved in encoding and remembering information. Everything from our level of arousal to attention to our sensory processing. And there's also a very complex series of neurochemical events that are involved in encoding new information. Any and all of these issues and cognitive functionings can be disrupted as a result of a diffuse neurological impairment like brain injury. So how does a doctor identify memory loss? Well, there's a couple of ways that we do it. One is that by the person may actually come to us and report, hey, I noticed my memory is different after I had that fall. Or a spouse or a parent or a guardian might also come and say, my family member can't remember in the same way that they used to. Also, as neuropsychologists, we use a series of behavioral tests that are objective and systematic that help us grade a person's memory and we can compare it against their level of their peers so we can understand how their memory might actually be different following their injury. So what do you do with a patient who has suffered memory loss? What is the process like helping them regain their memory back? There's spontaneous recovery that occurs after brain injury, and we see that change in the person's ability to remember in the days, weeks, and months after the initial injury. They are less confused as time goes on. They're remembering information before the accident and after the accident. So we really use spontaneous recovery in those early months to help us understand what the person understands about the world. We also also know that persons benefit from strategies to help them remember information. So strategies like writing things down or repeating information may actually help. That's actually the process of rehabilitation itself is understanding what strategies best support a person's level of functioning. How do you work with a person who has suffered memory loss after a brain injury? Well, it's a very involved process. It's also a very individualized process because every person brings something, they bring themselves to the brain injury. And so we want to be respectful of who that person is in the process of their recovery. So there are several things. Rehabilitation is really a lifelong process. We want to make a relationship with our clients over the continuum of their lives to support them in their recovery, in identifying what their goals are, what they want to do. It might be uh, something as simple or as basic as managing their medications. It might be return to work. So our goal is to identify what strategies best support the person in helping them achieve their goals. What are some exercises that people can use? It's a great question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> great question. It's a hot topic. We want people to use strategies to support their memory. Stop testing yourself. Write it down. Make a list. Use an appointment book. The more we actually decrease the demand on memory, the more likely we are to have room to remember new things. So if we write something down that's simple and basic, like what time you and I are meeting today, that actually gives me a lot more room to think about what else I need to accomplish across the rest of my day. Sure. That makes sense. So. What about age? Is age a factor when it comes to recovering your memory after a brain injury? Well, all brains have plasticity at all ages. So all brains have the potential to heal themselves, to learn new information. There are several processes that go into that plasticity and age is one of them, as is cognitive reserve and the emotional reserve that a person has that they bring to the rehabilitation process. So while persons who are younger may have youth as a benefit, all persons at all ages can benefit from rehabilitation. Thank you so much for sharing this great information. Janae, thanks so much for your time today. I appreciate You're it. You're welcome. Thank you. Be sure to watch more episodes on this topic and other issues of interest to all patients here on The Rehab Show. We will see you next time. 